at that strategy. Yeah, both boys very defensive, not wanting to give up anything, both successfully defending off their opponent's uh, attacks. We're going to go now. This should be another interesting match. Uh, Kyle Visconti of Malden Catholic against Matt Bucco of Greater Lawrence at 119 pound. Matt Bucco is the, the defending all-state champion at this, this weight. Greater Lawrence always having uh, some really talented athletes. Matt, Matt Bucco, a great example of that here. In on that high, that high single, high crotch. Sure. Two-point takedown. Visconti taken down for two. Both these boys are juniors, so we'll probably see them again right here next year. Buko throws Visconti to the mat, almost stacks him right there. Should have a... Uh, Potentially dangerous here, I would perhaps. think so. Buko a little high here. There's a potentially dangerous right there. Head referee for this match, Dennis Mulvihill, of uh, many years of experience here in certainly Middlesex League in Eastern Massachusetts. About a minute 20 left here in the period. We go here with the leg in, tight waist. Takes Visconti down. Visconti trying to scoot the hips out, but back to his feet. Standing, switch. Nope, doesn't get it. Buko is so tough. Very quick, too. Buko with that cross wrist and 50, the tight waist. 52 seconds left in the period. Trying to set up for a cradle here, John, it looks like. Potentially, Potentially dangerous, dangerous again. again. That's a stalling call. That's stalling. a stall call on Matt Buko. So Matt Buko warned the second time he's uh, set up for that clean start. So about 30 seconds left here in the first period. It's 2-0 for Matt Buko of Greater Lawrence Regional Tech, the Reggies. Against Kyle Visconti of Malden Catholic. Kyle's tried several times here to switch on Buko and has not been able to do so. Buko drives uh, Visconti out of bounds there that, that last time. Buko set up here on the left side of Visconti. There should be a caution there. There's the caution. Dennis Mulvihill telling Matt he's got to cover the elbow. Caution awarded. And you can see the, you can see the, from this camera angle the positioning on the elbow there that it has to be there. Buko really has him tight. Clock's on the mat here. Out of bounds. I'm kind of surprised Buko's only a junior, but we've said that before about Greater Lawrence wrestlers. They, probably because they're youth wrestlers in our area. We just see them for so long. We got another caution, caution on Buko, and that'll be a point for Visconti. I and think that's, a, is that only the second? So, sorry, second caution. Yeah, yeah. Next one will be a point. Visconti's up again, tries to scoot the hips, scoot the hips, doesn't get it, back up to his feet. Back up to his feet. That's the end of the first period. 2-0, Matt Buko. And he's gonna Matt's coach Danny Alicia indicating take down here for the start of the second period. Kyle Visconti setting up on the left side of his opponent. We got a clean start here. Visconti keeping that tight waist. Central Catholic coach here in their uh, matching shirts and ties. Must be their uniform. Matt Buko is so fast. I mean, for all of his skill, I think that the number one weapon he's got here is speed. He's just so quick. Okay, so Kyle Visconti on the top. Matt Buko trying to escape. Buko out. Kyle back in for a, a kind of a couple of low ankle picks. Pulls in, and Buko with the crotch lock here. This should be a uh, stalemate. Yep. Dennis won't let that go too, too long. Yeah, in a championship match. Oh, Buko's working this. Buko with that left leg wrapped around Westerning. Loses it here. Comes off the top. 
Wisconsin's going to get around behind the arms of Bucco, and he does. No, no, no score yet. Now he is. Dennis hasn't. Uh, Actually, Bucco started on bottom. That's so right. No change that's of control right. Here, right. About a minute left in this period. Is Connie setting up for? It looks like a Jacobs hook leg in. Nope, setting up for that, that guillotine. Nope, changes his mind again here. That's that Torella. That's that uh, ball and chain with the arm bar combination. Still keeps that left leg in. That lets him control Buko's hips and kind of takes a little bit of the spark out of Matt's moves. And Matt's got to show some spark on the bottom. He's got to improve his position on defense. Referee looking for that here. Doesn't is not looking for. Uh, there's that guillotine. Out of, out of uh, room there. We'll get back to the center of the mat. About 20 seconds left in the period. So just give a little appreciation to these two wrestlers and how skilled they are. Visconti had two pens and a major. Actually a tech, tech fall. And Matt Bucco had uh, three majors. He's not a penner, but he just uh, just tools on his opponent. Visconti working on that ankle, climbing up the leg, climbing up the tree. And not fast enough for Dennis Mulvihill, who calls a stall call there on Kyle Visconti. Clock's on the mat, about eight seconds left in the match. Ruko trying to sit out here, turn on his opponent and switch. Doesn't get it. That's it here. That's the second period. Don't Still come out for the third period, 2-0. Visconti is down, so Buco was not able to escape. He has his 2-0 lead. He does not, his coach wanted them to let him up. Oh, That's there, the there's third, the point. There's the point. The third, third warning cost. on Matt Buco that cost him. So an escape here ties the match. That's a costly mistake. And uh, Visconti. That's, That's another caution the... on Matt Buco. No, that was on, uh, that was on oh. Visconti. That was on Visconti. He's the one who was ahead of the whistle that time. So Buko. Oh. oh, Buko very high there. Slits out the front. Visconti with the half. Nelson trying to set up for the wrist and half here. Drive, spiral ride. Driving Matt Buko into the mat. Matt's on his back. You can see that. You can see it right there in the camera. You can see the shoulders. Oh, he's it's out of that. Two backs being awarded. Five to two from, for Kyle Visconti who has really come on like gangbusters this year. Kyle Visconti two on one, trying to tilt here. Matt Bucco for some more backs. Body scissors around the, the waist. Bucco is not used to being in this position. And Matt's got to improve his position. He is trying to reverse, not able to get out of there. Visconti with his right leg in. Gives it up. About 54 seconds left in the period. Dennis Mulvihill making sure both wrestlers are trying to improve their position here. Visconti trying to set up for that Jacobs hook, doesn't get it, still has uh, one leg in, trying to set up here, looks like for that guillotine, nope, Go, starts working on the leg, working back on the arm. 30 seconds left in the period here. There's that guillotine trying to drive his arm, drive his head behind the arm of his opponent. The, about 17 seconds left here in the period. Oh. The Almost back points there. Clock's on the mat. Five to two for Kyle Visconti. Two seconds left, one second left, and that'll be it. Kyle Visconti here, the final score, five to two over Matt Bucco, Greater Lawrence. And that's a, I wouldn't say that's an upset, but you know, Matt Bucco is the dis defending All-State champion at this weight. Well, he got caught. Remember, he slipped yeah. off and right. he got caught, and you can't make any mistakes at this level. Nope. Both these 